Welcome to our deep dive today into the ketogenic diet through the lens of science. And no, I am not going to dumb ketogenic diet. Today, actually, I'm going to praise ketogenic diet with those studies with some caveats to them. So I'll explore some significant findings from good randomized control trials that will shed light on how a ketogenic diet actually impacts the weight loss, the metabolic health, the diabetes health, and overall well-being. So each study we will discuss is a piece of evidence contributing to a larger understanding of this dietary approach. Some people call ketogenic diet a fad diet, but some people call it a lifesaver. So individual opinions differ and responses differ. However, today I'm talking about the studies for you. Now, Dr. Westman, for example, did a study in 2006 who found that a low carbohydrate ketogenic diet not only supported in their study for the weight loss but also led to improvement in lipid profiles this included increased hdl cholesterol and decreased triglycerides levels which is great pointing to enhanced heart health you know outcomes among the participants hopefully right they didn't show that they had less heart attacks and whatnot, but they were able to show at least the cholesterol was somewhat better. This is not true for every ketogenic study, but they were able to achieve that in their study. That's the problem with a lot of ketogenic studies. The patient selection, the study design, they're very, very mixed up and very hard to kind of put things together and you know, try to understand them because there is no standardization for study design for most of them. But we try to get what we can from what has been done so far. Now, low carbohydrate ketogenic diet program compared to a low fat diet on fasting lipoprotein. In 2005, Dr. Yancey and colleagues presented a compelling evidence on how a ketogenic diet could benefit individuals with type 2 diabetes. Yay! Well, their findings indicated improved insulin sensitivity and reduced blood sugar levels, offering a nice glimpse into the diet's potential to help with diabetes management. Again, short-term study, but yet, it's good to know, right? Now, another study titled Ketogenic Diet for Obesity, Friend or Foe? by Dr. Gibson and colleagues reported sustained energy levels and improved mental clarity among those following a ketogenic diet. Now, this is somewhat subjective. It's not a double-blind, of course, trial, but it still could be revolutionary for both cognitive function if you're suffering from that, from foggy mind and memory problems, for example, and overall lifestyle may improve for a lot of people, and there are a lot of people out there who will tell you that they are doing great on ketogenic diet, and they are right. You know, not everybody will do that way, but many people do. Lastly, I'm going to cover a 2004 study by Dr. Hussein and uh, his colleagues looked into the long-term effects of ketogenic diet in obese patients. Well that resulted in positive impacts on the metabolic syndrome markers, such as high blood pressure, the waist circumference, and these outcomes presented a strong case for considering ketogenic diet in the management of metabolic syndrome, which is a syndrome that develops before diabetes happens, which I think most people agree that we should act on that at that stage or even earlier, not when people develop diabetes. Now, here is a quick scoop on this. Each of these randomized trials demonstrate rigorous methodology and some reliable evidence behind the benefits of ketogenic diet, which we already know. And most of you have some idea about what ketogenic diet is. Some of you are experts on ketogenic diet. It improves the insulin sensitivity, helps with the energy levels, and there are a lot of positive changes in the metabolic markers in your body, and the science speaks volume. So that's great, right? Whether you're a healthcare professional, a nurse or a doctor, or just a patient who want to get more information, 
or get your health together because a lot of doctors are unhealthy to begin with so i think they should look into these type of diets themselves the evidence are is there to support it as benefits of ketogenic diet now having said that the long-term impact of a ketogenic diet may pose some challenges well there are limited meta-analysis that really track patients on this diet for extended periods most studies individual studies don't do that either so adherence can be tough for a lot of participants now how do i know that well if you look at a lot of youtube doctors they are not practicing all they do is doing videos all day and trying to get more subscribers more views etc but they don't really see patients they just think that their subscribers is their world there's nobody else well here's the deal i see a lot of patients and I ask people, what do they like? What did they do before? And a lot of people don't like or stick with the keto diet. And that's a fact. And as a physician, I cannot impose or force someone into ketogenic diet because there are other ways to do it too. And we know that there are some health concerns about very high saturated fat consumption as well. So it's great for a lot of people, but not for everyone. Now, inadequate intake of essential nutrients like vegetables and fruits people will say that oh you're on ketogenic diet you don't need them well why are they there then so god created vegetables and fruits for us for a reason so you think that the god created vegetables and fruits for birds to eat them i don't think so they're too delicious for that i mean they are um they're welcome to eat that but i mean come on they're so good for your health who can deny that? Yes, it can increase your blood sugar, but it, it increases your blood sugar, let's say fruit, only after you become diabetic. But if you stick to a healthy Mediterranean diet to begin with your entire life and you had, you had a healthy life overall, you don't have to be on ketogenic diet to prevent diabetes. All you have to do is stick to the healthy diet, stay away from the junk food, processed foods, exercise daily, and you'll be okay. Ketogenic diet works great when you hit the wall, <laughs> your cholesterol is off the roof, your metabolic syndrome, you have diabetes, and you don't know what to do. And at that point, you know, it's great, you know, introduce some ketogenic diet or at the metabolic syndrome stage, introduce some ketogenic diet. And the most, most importantly, not just introduction, but staying with the diet is very important. It is almost like a cult or a religion. You either take it or leave it. If you are not want to be part of that society, then maybe it's not for you. I hear a lot of patients saying that they went on a ketogenic diet and the opposite things happened. They gained weight. They had increased cholesterol, like I said. And some other people will say, oh, I'm doing great on ketogenic diet. So everybody is different. So you have to pay attention. Now, a lot of people will go constipated on ketogenic diet because you know they don't eat enough fiber they watch a few youtube videos they think they can just do it themselves and they end up with a bunch of problems and the pros are there like i'll give you an example i'm a kite surfer i'm not a pro kite surfer i kite surf whenever i catch a wind and if i'm not working which is rare so but it's a hobby you know and I watch YouTube videos, I'm like, oh yeah, I can fly in the air 50 feet and I'll come down just fine. <laughs> oh well, it doesn't work that way, <laughs> believe me. So if you really want to be a pro in this diet situation, in ketogenic diet, watching a few YouTube videos will not make you a pro. And there are a lot of people in my channel, they sound like they are some sort of professor emeritus in some university. The way they talk, the, the way they claim things is like so funny. Okay, calm it down, learn, learn, be open-minded, understand everybody is different. Keto is great for a lot of people. We, we love it for when it works, but if it doesn't work, you cannot say, oh, you have to be on keto or you'll die. No, you won't. I promise. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. But uh, if it is working more, you stick with it. If not, dump it. Talk to you later. Hey, guys. I hope you are enjoying this channel so far. And I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.